How's it going guys? Today I'm going to be showing you how to get infinite iridium in Borderlands 3. First thing you're going to want to do, you're going to want to open up Borderlands 3. I've already got it open. And once you've got it open, make your way over to Sanctuary. So find your nearest travel station and make sure that you're in Sanctuary. Uh, now that you're in Sanctuary, you want to make sure that you get yourself on over to Moxie's. Run all the way over. Position yourself right in front of the slot machine that uses iridium. Tab out. Dollar for a dance. And open up Cheat Engine. We'll include a download link in the description of the video to how to get uh, Cheat Engine. So you're going to open up Cheat Engine. Click yes for when it asks if you want to make changes. Open up in the directory Borderlands 3 inside of Cheat Engine. Now I'm not going to show you everything that you need to know to use Cheat Engine to the full extent. I'm only going to show you what you need to know for Infinite Iridium. You can check out the other videos that we're making on uh, Infinite Money and Infinite Golden Keys, Skill Points, etc. So make sure that your settings are set to the exact same values that... I have here, no check marks on the side, exact value, scan type, and value type, set it at 4 bytes. Now, uh, type yourself back into the game, and you're going to want to check how much Iridium you have. I've set mine at 112, so go back into Cheat Engine, and for value, set 112, or whatever your, yours is. Don't put in 112, put whatever your Iridium amount is. You're going to want to make sure that you have at least 60 or 70, because you're going to have to use 10 a few times. So set your value for whatever it is, and you're going to want to do your first scan. Now this is going to find all the values in the game that have 112. So now there's 164,000 of these values, and now we're going to start narrowing it down. So tab back into the game, use 10. So now I have 102, you can see right here. And you're going to want to set scan type instead of exact value. You're going to set it instead now to decreased value by and put it at 10. So it's going to find all the values from here that have decreased by 10. So you're going to go next scan. Now we're at 24 values. So you're going to scan, tab back into the game, use another 10. Tab back into Cheat Engine, do the next scan, and now we're down to 5. Now your values are going to be at 5. There's only going to be 5 values for Iridium, and it's not going to be 1, it's going to be 5. So tab back into the game, we're just going to make sure that this is the 1. I'll check that out later. So we're going to make sure that this is the 5 values that control the Iridium. So you use another 10, tab back into this, and do your last scan. So for sure, these are the values that we need. So double click all of these into your little bookmark area. And now, this is the easy part. Now you get to double click on this and change this value to whatever you want. So, so I'm going to set mine to uh, 999,999. Okay, and you have to set these all to the same value. Uh, so make sure that these are all set to the same exact value, but you can set this to whatever you want. Um, and you've done it. That's all you need to know. And now, once we finish setting all of these, once you've set all of these, you can tap back into the game. And if you look on the right, I now have 999,999 iridium. And this is not gonna this is not gonna fix itself when uh, refresh back to whatever it was. You've now permanently set it at 999. Now, if you want to set it back to whatever it is, if you think this is too cheaty, you can do whatever you want. But uh, that's all you need to know. Thanks, guys, for watching the video, and I hope you enjoy your infinite iridium.